Teachers play such a significant role in our lives that we are all thankful for all they do every day. Last month, we asked you to nominate the teachers in your lives for some special recognition. We understand how important their job is in our students' development and learning. So today, we're introducing you to the first of five teachers selected to be on our show this week. Laura Biaghi is a fourth grade teacher at Chester Elementary, home of the Flyers. She's here to help us all learn a little bit about what makes Kelloland teachers so special. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm excited, excited to, be, to be kicking off this week yes. with you. Yes. It's interesting because you were nominated by somebody who hasn't even ever met you in mm -hmm. person, yep. the grandmother to one of your students. Mm -hmm. That speaks a lot about you, that how much of an impact you make can resonate all the way to somebody who's never Thank even you. met you. Yeah, teachers have... We have an important role in, you know, in shaping these kids' lives and helping, you know, them grow every day. And so, yeah, it's pretty special to, to get that from somebody that I've never even met before. So, why did good. why did you decide to become a teacher? Honestly, I never even wanted to be a teacher. It's a funny story. So, both of my parents are teachers, and I, of course, you know, you can't do everything your parents want to do. But you know, being around kids all the time and and all, it just it just happened naturally. Honestly, I absolutely love kids and that has to be first if you want to be a teacher you know you have to love kids so so yeah that's how it all started and you teach in Chester mm -hmm. what sort of drove you to wanting to teach in a smaller town we're not you know in Sioux Falls mm -hmm. there's just so many teaching opportunities yes. but I imagine you have a whole different a atmosphere there yes I love it there um, the small town community that small town feel is it's priceless. I mean, everybody comes together, you know, when, if something happens or if we need help with something, you know, everybody in Chester, they're really there for each other and it's a special place to be. And you teach fourth grade? Yes. Have you always taught fourth grade? No, I started actually in first grade um, in Brandon, <clears throat> and but I lived in Madison. And so that drive was just, you know, not the best drive every morning. And then I was lucky, lucky enough to get a job in Chester, and I started third, and then I've been fourth ever since. So one year third, and then now fourth. What's your favorite thing about that age, that fourth grade age, and the yes. impact you get to leave with those kids? Yes, I love fourth grade. So it's fun because you can have real life, actual conversations now with them, and they s still sometimes get my jokes, or you know, but you know they're still learning and they're still growing but they still you can have those deeper conversations and dig deep into the content and things with that age so it's a lot of fun what's one thing when you talk about sort of engaging with your students every day it's maybe not part of the normal curriculum but what's a lesson that you hope that you're leaving them with that's going to stick yeah um i kind of preach and might just be a good person we talk we have a a good classroom feel I think in my I get to know the kids one-on-one -on -one and to have that relationship with them you know they're gonna want to work harder in your class you know if they they know you have their back and you're there that you're there for them and they can trust you and so really being just being a good person and being there for people and, and things like that so I really I really hope that they they get that by the time they leave my classroom how long have you been teaching now this will be my ninth year I think so have you started to get to that point where some of your students early on are coming back yes. as just and I adults, love it. right? Yes, I love it. So in Chester, we're K-12, um, and well, actually preschool through 12, and so it's one big building. And so we get to see those middle school, high school kids all the time, and that's another favorite of being, you know, in a small small school. But yeah, I love when they come back down and say hi, and, and they do all the time, or just in the hallway, or, you know, out and about, and hi, Mrs. Biagi, you know, it's, that's, that's great. If you could, knowing what you know now, go, kind of go back to yourself when you were a teacher that mm -hmm. first year, or maybe some advice to those teachers just heading in there. What's something yes. you kind of learned that you would love for them to know now? Um, time management. Um, my, I remember my first year, you know, being just everything comes home and you're there late and then it gets better. You know, you start to realize you know when you should get this done and it's okay if that one paper doesn't go home tomorrow if it's not corrected it's not the end of the world you know so just prioritize and you know what needs to be done now and and, and during your breaks get things done <laughs> i think there's one thing that we as parents who aren't teachers have learned during this pandemic really mm -hmm. really well yeah. <laughs> that's just how hard it is it's to teach hard. because yeah. we've been trying to mm -hmm. do our best to guide our kids through virtual right. learning and that's hard 
I'm sure you've learned a lot through this too, and, and you're probably looking forward to getting back yes. into the classroom. What are you looking forward to the most? Oh, just seeing my kids. I miss them so much. I'm a very huggy person. I can't do that as much now, but you know, just their faces and being there in person is just going to, I'll probably cry the first day or two, you know, and everybody will just be so excited and there'll probably be chaos, you know, those first few days because we just haven't been around each other and, and I miss them so much. I know one of the things that my kids love when they are getting to know their teachers is getting to know a little bit about their family too and yes. getting some of the inside connections. So tell us a little bit about your family yes. too. Yes, so i um, married to my husband Greg who's from Washington and we live in Madison and we have four kids, seven, five, two, and one. Okay. So we're busy, but <laughs> yeah. So back to that <laughs> pandemic issue. You were yes. teaching from home with four children. Yes, That's at home. intense. Yes, okay. it was hard. It was definitely hard. Yeah. A challenge. So your children haven't yet reached that age where they would have you in that age group. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like you live in a different town, so they yeah. don't have you either. But what are you looking forward to when you see those kids kind of get to that same age you teach and kind of already knowing what they're going through and stuff? Yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, I'm. You know, just that age in general, you know, they're starting to, you know, get into sports and, you know, find their best friends and, you know, all of, so all of those things I look forward to with my kids too, but it'll, it'll be interesting. You're definitely, <laughs> sounds like you are running a really busy life trying to teach and have four children yes. all the time and do all these things with these kids, but what is the most rewarding thing about being a teacher? Oh my gosh, there's many. My absolute favorite thing about being a teacher is when you have those teachable moments, but then you see them in action. So if we're reading a story or something and it talks about, you know, including people or bullying or anything like that, but then you see your kids or you hear about it from somebody else of them just being a good person and making a great choice, it really, you, you know, you're so proud. And, and I call them my kids, I don't call them my students, because, you know, I, they, they become part of your family throughout the, I mean, you see them all day long. And, and so those, those moments are absolutely my favorite. Well, it's easy to see why you were nominated for this, <laughs> because I can tell just from meeting you that you are just thank a fantastic you. teacher. But we have one thing before you go. We have this gift. We'd like to Aww. thank you, Laura, again for yes. coming in. And also a big thank you to those teachers who aren't on our show, but out in our community making a difference in the lives of our youth. We'd like to extend a small token of our appreciation by giving you this gift from one of our sponsors. They've included some school supplies and some oh, treats just for you. So thank you. we'll let you have this and take it back in just a small token of appreciation. Thank you so much. We'll also be interviewing four other teachers this week with our grand prize winner appearing on Friday's show. Go out and spread the love for our teachers and we'll be right back.